A shockwave sent through a Temple neighborhood after two small children were found dead. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Lindsay Lippman. Now the community is banding together as they remember these young lives and their family. Maggie Lowmiller joins us with more on a prayer vigil that brought dozens of people together in the wake of tragedy. A neighborhood comes together to reflect on two young lives taken far too soon. It is very hard, you know, um, you know, you never expect it to happen close to you or around you. And when it does, it, it's it's an eye opener and it's tragic and it, it, it affects more than just your neighborhood. It affects everything. Police were doing a welfare check inside this home on South 35th Street when they found two small children dead. Two other children were placed in the care of Child Protective Services. A woman in a catatonic state was also in the home and was taken to Baylor Scott and White Hospital. These two young lives left a lasting impression on this neighborhood and their memory won't be forgotten. It was just shocking. Gwendolyn Tyler watched across the street as investigators pieced together how this could happen. There was a lady that came by and she told me, she said, I didn't know them, but I brought these roses and I'm just going to lay them here. And she was almost in tears. Tyler cleared a space and a pair of roses blossomed into a larger memorial. Stuffed animals and flowers lit by the soft glow of candles. Dozens take pause to pay respect. With everything that's going on in the world and, um, you know, the tragic tragedy just happening all over the place, you know, it, it just makes you feel like you just need to s slow down and, and enjoy life and enjoy those that you know that are here with us and especially you know praise those and pray, pray for the ones that aren't here with us no more. In Temple, Maggie Low Miller, 25 News. The identities of the two children have not yet been released.